All right, we're going to start with photos. That's okay, you can wear your Marvel shirt. Yeah. Hmm? You can wear your Marvel ah. shirt. Did the original one be like <laughs> Give me a second. <laughs> Welcome. I'm here today with our I Stance medalists in with the bronze, Evgenia Lopareva and Jeffrey Brissot from France. <laughs> with the silver, Marjorie Lohua and Zachary Laga from Canada. <laughs> and our champions, Madison Chalk and Evan Bates from the United States. We'll start with an opening question. What does it mean to stand on the podium here at Skate America? Madison, Nevin, we'll start with you. Skate America is a very special Grand Prix to us, mainly because it's our home Grand Prix and a chance to skate in front of a home audience, which is always really special and incredibly fun. Our parents are in the audience, and it's great to be able to look out and see them. Uh, we had a great skate today and are very proud of our performance and uh, look forward to the rest of the season. Um, yeah, it means a lot. We're very happy. Uh, I think we're both really started to like to skate in USA. Um, it's a good crowd. The rink is nice. Um, it's an honor to be you know, with such fun competitors. And um, yeah, it just means a lot. It's very good. Well, that's, I think, an honor for us because there was a lot of strong teams and we were really fighting for this place. So we're glad we achieved what we wanted and we were glad to competing with such strong teams. Right, we'll now open it up for questions. So if you have a question, if you can raise your hand. We'll start with Tatiana. Thank you. So it's a question to Madison Evan. Um, I just looked up. This is uh, your first Skate America gold medal you won nine years ago, <laughs> 2014. And your first Grand Prix medal was 10 years ago in 2013. So how does it, when you think back at your first Skate America gold in 2014, mm. um, and how does it feel now compared to then? Well, it really seems like a lifetime ago. <laughs> um, we've certainly come a long way and experienced a lot through this sport. And um, I'm so happy to have been on this, this whole journey with Evan and our careers. And it's really, skating has brought so much into our lives. And I just feel so, so fortunate and so grateful um, for the lessons, for the experiences. and for all the wonderful people that we've met in the sport. Um, yeah, it, it's a really special experience. <coughs> Lynn? So no, another question for Madison and Evan. Uh, this free dance, uh, how long were you thinking about the concept um, how long ago did you start sort of the gestation process of this? So last summer we, we spoke about it, so I guess two years, year and a half. Um, 
for whatever reason it didn't happen last year the it didn't align between our whole team um, and then this year was the 50th anniversary of the dark side of the moon when we came back into the conversation um, patch brought it up uh, and we were like hey we brought this up last year and then it was like oh but it's the 50th anniversary and we're like okay yeah that's that's a great idea uh, and then um, so, so we loved the music, but we knew we wanted to tell a story with it. So then we, we chose time, and then we, d we dove deeper into this, this concept, this storytelling of you know, time being a, a construct um, that we've made as humans, and, and then th this narrative of trying to break free of this construct to uh, appreciate the time that we have because it's fleeting. And um, I think Tatiana or someone said, you know, it's kind of representative of your career. You know, you've been skating for a long time, and obviously the, the years ahead are maybe less than the years that have passed. So, you know, taking the, the time to really appreciate what we've got while we got it, and that's sort of uh, what we're trying to tell uh, with this free dance, which we feel like we absolutely love. Behind you. Uh, congratulations to all teams. Um, since this is the first Grand Prix event, um, also second and third place team, would you talk about your new free program? Um, how did you pick the music and what's the concept behind it? <laughs> we chose the music with our choreograph, Guillaume Cizeron. So we speak about in French tour, we listen a lot of music. And one day, Evgenia sent to our WhatsApp group and we directly say, oh yes, this music can be fun and cool. And directly, Guillaume speak about the storytelling and we build some story with this and finally the program build in four days, like super fast and it's work well, I think. <laughs> uh, well, the story is about Rachmaninoff and uh, it's kind of uh, his moment of life when he was about leave Russia to go in America and it was a difficult moment of him because he was leaving his home country and he wasn't able to come back so it's a lot of struggles, you're not sure, it's an important decision. So in our program, Jofre is Rachmaninoff, and I represent like um, all these things and thoughts which was like happening with him during this like moment of life. Whatever. <laughs> Um, for us, uh, since Worlds are in Montreal, we really wanted to find something that was from Montreal. Um, we listened to a lot of music, we were struggling to find it, and then I remember we had a session with Guillaume, and he just played a lot of different songs, and then we both really like Rose, and we told him, and he, then he said it's Jean-Michel Blais that is from Montreal, so we were like, okay, that's what we're going to pick. Um, so yeah, that's how we found the music. and. The story, we both, especially Zach, don't really like to have like a specific story. We prefer to have emotion and connection um, and just enjoy the movement. So it's a lyrical music and we're trying to show those emotion with the music and connecting to each other. Come Hello, uh, congratulations, I was quite tardy. Um, if you already answer this, fine. Maddie and Evan, uh, Stefan, I was just with Stefan Lambiel and he was sort of enchanted by your free dance and the way that you continue to create and do anew. How much do you like and appreciate the challenge of each season having to create something that you've never done before? Not going to age you too much, but you've been doing We've this already, for somebody already did. someone already did. Okay, yeah, great, that's <laughs> good. That's done. But you've been at this for a couple of years, right? So to have that new challenge and to have the um, praise of someone like <clears throat> Stefan, um, how do you appreciate that in your career at this point? Thanks. Well, I'm very flattered that we've captured Stefan. That is no easy feat. Um, I would say. 
yes, we have been doing this a long time, and so I think for us, what keeps us coming back is how how are we going to reinvent ourselves each season, and how are we going to explore something new that we haven't done before? And I think that's what keeps us coming back, and that's why we've been motivated for so long because we're we're so inspired to see what else we can create and um, just push ourselves and challenge ourselves into new spaces. And sometimes our programs challenge us right back, and and that's what we love about it. Any more questions? All right, we'll wrap that up and we'll be back with the women's medalists. Thank you. That's a drawing. Yeah. Oh, the colors are great. Wow, do you have her like, um, info? 